My name is Gord Miller. I'm the Environmental Commissioner of Ontario. And I've just released to the Legislative Assembly my Energy Conservation Report for 2010 called Managing a Complex Energy System. There are many interesting things in that report, but the one I want to talk about in this video is the concept of a smart grid. You may have heard the term. You've probably heard smart meter, but what is a smart grid? And I think it's a very important concept for the people of Ontario to understand. So uh, let's, let's see if I can give you some insight into that. This is a diagram that explains our grid more or less as it exists now. You know, here's your home, your residential home, and uh, here's your big power plants, so transmission lines, the various components. There's what we say there's, there's, there's medium voltage lines, high voltage lines, et cetera, you know, this kind of thing. But the, the key thing about this, about this system is that the power comes from the big generators, pushed out and distributed down the system ultimately to your, to your home. We have an operation center over here, and sitting, you notice it's sitting all by itself, and there are no lines to it. And the reason is, because that's very realistic a representation of our system. Our system pushes the power out, but we're quite blind as to what's happening in the system. In fact, if, if the power goes out at your home, the operation center for the whatever hydro authority is, is, is running it, find out when you phone them. They don't know the power is out, because the grid is is dumb, if you like. It just provides power. And that's, that's what has to change, because there's lots of opportunities for inefficiency. Let's, let's, so that's today. It's a very simple system that we've, it's been in existence for more than 100 years. It's more sophisticated than it was 100 years ago, but it's basically the same system. If we were to get to a smart grid, the key feature is a smart grid has two-way communication operating as well as this electrical system. So now we have radio towers on the system. We have their operation center has radio towers and it's getting information back and forth from the generators. It knows what's going on from various points in the distribution system and it can send information into your home or get information from your home as to what you're consuming. And there are programs, if you are in agreement, they can have arrangements where they can actually go in and, and say shut down your air conditioning for say five minutes or ten minutes, which doesn't sound like very long, but if you have a thousand homes and that you can rotate that through, that you can save tremendous amounts of generation. The, when the, when the, you have a smart grid, the operations people know what's happening, there's two-way communication, there's all sorts of uh, opportunities for efficiency, conservation, and saving energy. It makes the whole system resilient, much more dependable, much more efficient, and in the long term, much more affordable. Because the kind of investments you have to make to, to keep your bar, power grid up with our old system involve billions of dollars of, of extra generation. A smart grid allows you to be much more sophisticated in your expenditures and make your system better. You can learn more about this by looking at um, my report, which is on my website, www ECO.ON.CA